disciplined desire, whether one can curb it, is a deeper question altogether, which is what do you desire? What makes you itch? What sort of a situation would you like? Let's suppose, I do this often in vocational guidance of students. They come to me and say, well, uh, we're getting out of college and we haven't the faintest idea what we want to do. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? What, how would you really enjoy spending your life? Well, it's so amazing as a result of our kind of educational system, crowds of students say, well, we'd like to be painters, we'd like to be poets, we'd like to be writers, but as everybody knows, you can't earn any money that way. Or another person says, well, I'd like to live an out-of-doors life and ride horses. I said, you want to teach in a riding school? Uh, let's go through with it. What do you want to do? When we finally got down to something which the individual says he really wants to do, I will say to him, you do that and uh, forget the money. Uh, because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. Play us out. What does that mean? To play us out.